today I'm going to show you how to use my pre-made background here. Um, I'm going to use a pre-cut baby that I have prepared earlier. So to take your subject, you simply use your move tool and drag it into your background and drop. I'm going to hit Command T and resize baby so she looks more realistic. So I'm holding my finger on shift, which keeps all the perspective of baby correct and she's not going to warp out of shape. So I think that's a good size for baby. So I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to put a layer mask onto baby. I've got my eraser tool set at 38 opacity and a white brush and I'm going to start erasing over baby's tail and this is just going to start bringing the background into the image because I want it to look like baby's tail is slightly underwater so I like how that's looking I'm then going to choose the baby layer and I'm going to take my smudge tool this tool is set to strength of 20% and it's my absolute favorite tool for blending objects into a different background. So I'm just going to start by smudging some of these sharp lines. And you can see there that it's dulling out the lines so that your eye is not drawn to it. And I'm going to carry it on up and over the lines of baby's skin here on the outline just a little bit so that it doesn't look like a fully cut out picture that's been pasted into a different background. Okay, so I'm happy with how that's looking. I'm then going to hit Command J which duplicates my layer. And I'm then going to hit Command T, which gives me my free transform box. And I'm right clicking and I'm going to flip the image horizontal. Actually, let's try that again. Take it back and hit vertical. And I'm going to create a nice little reflection in the water here. So I'm just holding my Command key down and dragging the box around a little bit, changing the perspective until I see exactly what I want. So I'm just going to take the opacity down to about, let's see, yeah, I like that, 26. So you can see that that's creating a nice little reflection in the water. So I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to choose my layer, uh, my mask. And I'm going to erase. So take my opacity up to 100% and erase over the bits that I don't want the reflection to be on. So we don't want the tail up here. I think that's looking good. And then I'm going to click on my baby layer again and I'm going to use my smudge tool on her reflection. So I'm just going to come in here and smudge it up because reflections aren't perfect when they're underwater especially. Yeah, I see a little bit there that I want to erase off of my baby. Okay, that's better. All right, so it's a little bit left over there as well. rid of that. Yeah, 
Okay, I'm really happy with how that's looking. So then I am going to add an action over the top of this to blend it even further. That's one of my absolute favorite things to do when I'm compositing photos together. So I'll choose one that I've got here. You can use one or you don't have to. You can do whatever you like, but this is just simply what I like to do to connect all my colors together. And then I'm just going to go through really quickly and just tweak a couple of these. I love the colors. Down slightly. And then to finish it off, I'm really happy with how that's turned out. I'm going to hit flatten my image and that's my finished product. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it's helped you out and you can purchase this background from my Etsy store. Thank you.